Hey everybody, today I want to talk about um, what I would carry in a SHTF situation, you know, the weapon of my choice. And before anybody says anything, yes, I have a 9mm pistol. I do have that. And yes, I do have a long range rifle. But if I had to go out the door, grab my bug out bag, grab a rifle or a, a weapon of choice, I would grab this. It's a 12 gauge shotgun. It's a New Englander style. It's a New Englander brand. I've had it about five years now. It's never given me any prob problems. It's never jammed on me. Um, you know, it, it it's a it's a good gun. You know, I've hunted. I've hunted everything around here with it. I went to the Dollar Tree, got a cheap dollar light. Taped it on there. It don't interfere with the sightings or anything. Um, two hundred, little over two hundred dollars. I paid for it. Um, this is what I would choose. This is what I. It it holds six rounds. I took the plug out, and um, you now when I go dove hunting or duck hunting or something like that, I put the plug back in so it'll hold three. But I take the plug out, and it holds six rounds. Five in the tube, one in the chamber. Uh, this is um, double lot buck. Um, there are nine, nine pellets per shell. So, um, that's 54. If I load that and I fire all of them, that's 54 rounds coming out the end of that barrel. That's 54 bullets coming at you. If you got an AR or an AK 30 round clip, you're going to have to fire that full round, that full clip, empty it, put another round in, fire it halfway to get... How many rounds I got coming out of there? Nine millimeters, same way. I mean, you know, I can get more, more rounds down range quicker. Now, the drawbacks to a shotgun, it's got limited range. Uh, you know, I don't know the maximum range of a shotgun. You know, how far the distance of killing distance, I don't know that. Um, you know, I've up close and personal, you know, 25 yards. It's going, it's a, it a, it's a good, it's a good weapon. And that's what you're going to need. If you're in an urban situation, you know, it's going to be a lot of house to house or a lot of, um, up close and personal. Um, if you do get into a firefight, you know, even if you're in the woods, um, you're not going to have a lot of long range firing. You know, it's going to be up close and personal because even in the woods, you got some, um, you know, you got, you got thickets, you got brush, you got rocks, you got trees, you know, you got everything. Um, and the reason I like a shotgun, when you shoot it, it spreads. So it, it covers more distance, you know, more area to impact than a single round. You know, if you just shoot a single round at a time, you know, with an AK or something like that. Um, so that's why I like a shotgun and uh, down here I have a couple of, um, smooth bore slugs. I don't, I don't know the, what caliber of slug that would be, but, uh, it goes about down to here. So that's a hell of a chunk of lead coming at you. Um, that would easily go through a bulletproof vest at, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 yards maybe. I don't know. I'd Like I said, I, I'm not one of these guys into all the correct and accurate distance of each round. I'm not into that. But this is a um, three-inch Magnum uh, four-shot nitro. But, um, yeah, that's what I carry uh, here. This is a 48, uh, 48 round bandolier, and these are double lot buck, nine pellets, I mean nine pellets per shot. So, hold on, let me get my paper and I can do the math for you. So that is 432 rounds coming out of those shells. If you got a AK or an AR, 
and you got 30 round clips, you got to carry a little over 14 fully stocked clips on your personnel. Nine millimeter guys, you know, most hold what, 16 rounds? That's 27 clips you got to carry on you. Guys who have SKSs, the 10 round stripper clips, that's 43 stripper clips you got to carry fully. That's a lot of weight. And to me, it ain't worth carrying that weight. You know, I've carried that weight before, and I just, it, it's a pain. But, um, like I said, this is great. It's a great weapon. You know, it don't cost, it don't cost a lot. Um, and it's deadly. I mean, plain and simple, it's deadly. Because if you hear, turn this right here. When people hear that, they're thinking, oh shit, I'm fixing to die. Everybody knows the sound of a pump shotgun being loaded. Everybody. So, I don't care what nationality you are, what country you're from, you guys know what a pump shotgun sounds like, and you know you're fixing to die. But, in here, in this one, if I wanted to, I can, this is a 25 round bandolier. And I've got some bird shot, some more three inch magnum. This is eight shot, um, double lot buck. I can crisscross these and carry, you know, I've got enough ammo here to defend myself. And if I want to hunt squirrel or rabbit, I've got the shot to do that. If I, if I want to go out and hunt a bear or a deer, I got slugs for that. You know, if I want to duck hunt, I got, I got shells for that. And if I need to defend, all these, bird shot, three inch magnum, all that, will kill a man. You know, I don't have to change this or change that or change this shell or change that shell if my life is threatened. Because all these shells would kill a man. But that's the point I'm trying to get. It's an all around gun. And, um, you know, I'm going to hear people saying, no, no, you need a, you need a, a rifle. You need a nine millimeter. I have a pistol. It's uh, it's on the nightstand. It's mostly for my. It's mainly for my wife at nighttime, or when I'm not home. You know, I'm not one of these guys who like shooting pistols. I just don't see. I just don't see it. I don't. I just don't see it. You know, if I'm going to shoot, I like shooting rifles. I like shooting shotguns. You know, if if I had time and I you know, could get my weapons. Yes, I have a 30-06, eight round semi-automatic for long range distance. Um, but if I just had to grab my bug out bag and grab a weapon, I would grab a shotgun because if I'm either in the city or if I'm out in the woods, this is what I would want, you know. It's an all around multi-purpose weapon. You know, guys saying, oh, you need a backup weapon. You need a 9 millimeter. If I'm in a firefight, all I got to do really look around on the ground at the dead bodies. And one of those guys has got a pistol I can grab if, I'm, if, I, if it comes down to needing a pistol. Or this could get me a pistol off a dead body. But it's, it's a cheaper alternative. You know, a lot of these SKSs... Now, Back in the 90s, you could buy SKSs all day long for 50 bucks. You know, I bought my my um, my 30 out six rifle. When I bought it, I bought it for 300 something dollars. Today, it's going for three to five thousand dollars because of the style of the the weapon, and it's crazy. I mean, I remember you know seeing these what those um. Those Mauser, German Mauser rifles you can buy for like $69, $79 back in the 90s. And today, you know, I went to a gun show and I priced them and they're like uh, $2,500. It, it, it's crazy. But, um, you know, that's a different, that's another video, different story. But um, this is what I would use. You know, I'm going to get some slack saying no you need this no you need that no i don't this is what i need because this is what i know i need and how i'm going to use it 
So you you guys might need a nine millimeter. You might need a on your side. Then you might need a AR fifteen with thirty fully fully you know full thirty round clips strapped across your chest and everything and weighted you down. That, that's you guys's. That's not me. You know I'm just trying to show in different point of view for people who might not have the money to go out and spend that type of money a 12 gauge pump is a great equalizer in a lot of things but this is what i got i hope you guys enjoy it um it's new year's eve i just want everybody to be safe and if you're going to drink please do not drive Call a taxi, have a designated driver. Hell, if you have to, get on the city bus and take you home because I don't want anybody to get out drinking and driving, getting yourself killed or killing somebody. You know, I don't want you guys ruin your life just over having a few drinks thinking you're, you can drive drunk. But please, do not drink and drive. Everybody have a safe one, and I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year's. Bye.